U.S. Supreme Court has issued another major ruling on how much big political donors can spend to influence your vote. As San Diego 6's Derek Stahl reports, local political insiders are deeply divided on this decision. What does that mean for our elections? What does that mean for our democracy? Dozens of people gathered outside the U.S. Supreme Court to protest its latest ruling on money and politics. The court ruled five to four to strike down overall contribution limits as unconstitutional. It's a move conservative political consultant John Dadian supports. It's basically a First Amendment free speech right. If you're an American citizen and it's your money, you should be able to contribute to anyone that you support. Under federal law, people can only give $2,600 to a candidate. That hasn't changed. The court's ruling strikes down the overall donation limit of $123,000 every two years. It's a limit very few people reach. Construction CEO Douglas Barnhart is one of only two San Diegans to hit the limit since 2012. I do not think that you can buy elections, and I think that's been proven over and over and over. What I do think is important is that you, each candidate, gets its message out. According to the Center for Responsive Politics, just 644 people reached the aggregate limit in the 2012 election. George Mitrovich, former press aide for Bobby Kennedy, says the court's ruling hurts most everyone else. The whole idea of, of a country uh, for the people, um, uh, of the people, by the people, that's, that doesn't exist. It's all about wealth. If you have money, you're a player. If you don't, we don't care about you. We don't have time for you. For those who do have the money, supporting a candidate in every single congressional race in the country is now an option. To do it would cost $2.5 million. Derek Stahl, San Diego 6 News.